What is up, y'all? This is JT. This is a garden spider. These are the spider webs that you're going to be walking through a lot of times when you walk to your car at night. You will definitely run into one or two of these. And as you can see, this is a giant female that is spinning a web right now so that she can catch some prey to eat. And she's actually quite big. One of the bigger ones that I've seen. This is my thumb. In comparison, it is bigger than my thumb. She is quite large. And what I guess I'll do right now is just let you guys watch her spin her web for a little bit. Let's get my focus back. And we're just going to watch her for a little bit and see what happens. Enjoy. Sorry I missed the initial catch of this prey, but I was not actually by my camera. I just set it out and then left it. So she caught something and now she's carrying it to the middle. This is where she'll probably tie it up. And she will leave that there until another prey falls victim to the web. And if you're wondering, the spider, well in my opinion of course, that is on Spider-Man's chest, or the drawing of the spider on Spider-Man's chest, I do believe this is the spider that they, um, used as sort of the inspiration for the drawing because it looks very similar so I don't know how close I can get we'll try to get a little bit closer That's about as close as my focus will allow me. And as you can see, she is injecting it. Usually at this time, when she catches it, 
initially she injects it with a toxic venom that actually stuns them or knocks them out. And now what she will do is proceed to digest it. So she is probably introducing the digestive enzymes into the prey where as the night will go on, if you take more pictures of the prey, you'll notice that the sac that it's wrapped up in will actually start to dissolve. It's, it's fairly, fairly disturbing in a way, but also very good for the spider. A lot of the ones you catch in your driveway that put the webs in between your cars or um, between your car and like a mailbox or anything like that, a lot of times when they catch a big enough prey, if they feel like it's enough, what they will do is actually knock their own web down and they will um, basically descend or ascend depending on where they came from, they will either go down or up, or if they came from like the mirror of your car, they will go back into the mirror of the car, or if they came from somewhere up in the trees, they will go back up into the tree. This one is a very, very large one. And I'm gonna show you again how large it is. That's my thumb right next to it. In fact, I'm basically touching the web. And I am about 5 foot 11, 226 pounds. I'm not a small guy. So that's a very large spider. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I will actually catch one at one point catching prey. But I was not zoomed far enough back. <sighs> Excuse me. I wasn't zoomed far enough back, and a giant bug just flew in my mouth. But anyway, I will try to catch one actually taking down its prey. Even if I have to catch something and throw it in the web just to show you, I will. But... Yeah, so I know somebody that has recently been bit by a brown recluse, so if I catch any of those or I have any of those, I will be throwing them into the webs because basically fuck the brown recluse. They are useless as far as keeping pests away. They are actually the pest. So enough about my rant. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm going to let her enjoy her meal. But actually... In all actuality, the light that is now on, which is my LED light on top of my camera, probably aided and assisted in her catching her prey. Um, usually it takes a little bit longer before they catch something. So my light actually probably helped her. And maybe she'll get bigger. There's more spider webs flying all over my camera. So that is it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. JT out.